Hey Luke and Colin, come along with Joey and I. We're going to show you some wildlife from Cleveland. All right, let's go. Well, here we are at Shaker Lakes, and these are goldfish. They're wild goldfish, but they started out as people's pets, and then they released them into the water. Not cool, man, not cool. Well, wouldn't you know, here we have a honeybee, and it must be kind of cold. It's not moving so fast. It's the morning here in Cleveland Heights. And Noel and I are watching it. We're watching it wake up. It's going to fly away and go drink some nectar and collect some pollen from wildflowers. And it's going to help other flowers grow. You call it a pollinator. Okay, looking for wildlife doesn't mean using your eyes. Take a look at this here. Katie did making all these buzzing noises. It's called stridulating. Okay boys, take a look at this. Here's a caterpillar. Caterpillars either grow up into butterflies or moths. This one's gonna grow up into a milkweed tussock moth. And it's on the moon. Button bush. Wonder why it's called that. Poison ivy, hands off. Leaves of three, let it be. Yeah, this is a nice one. It's called burdock. And it works like Velcro. In fact, it's why Velcro exists. Let's see. Yeah. Remember the honeybee? Well, this is another pollinator. It's a bumblebee. Same thing. Looking for juices, traveling different flowers, and it's going to help the other flowers grow by spreading the pollen. Let's finish up by rolling over this log, see if there's any wildlife under there. So let's look, let's see. Oh, we have some terrestrial mollusks here. Slugs, of course. They like wet and cool places. What else? Lots of fungus growing. Centipede. Got one. Luke, this one's for you. This is a cicada. That's what makes all that, that buzzing and the trilling on those warm summer days. This is a dog day cicada. Well, we hope you learned some things about wildlife from Cleveland. So, saying goodbye from me and Joey. Bye!